The Lord said to Abraham, Leave your country, your relatives and your father's home and go to a land that I am going to show you. I will give you many descendants and they will become a great nation. I will bless you and make your name famous so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you but I will curse those who curse you. And through you I will bless all the nations. When Abram was 75 years old, he started out from Haran, as the Lord had told him to do, and Lot went with him. Abram took his wife Sarah, his nephew Lot, and all the wealth and all the slaves they had acquired in Haran. And they started out for the land of Canaan. When they arrived in Canaan, Abram travelled through the land until he came to the sacred tree of Moreh, the holy place of Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were still living in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, This is the country that I am going to give to your descendants. Then Abram built an altar there to the Lord, who had appeared to him. After that, he moved on south to the hill country, east of the city of Bethel, and set up his camp between Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. There also he built an altar and worshipped the Lord. Then he moved on from place to place, going toward the southern part of Canaan. But there was a famine in Canaan, and it was so bad that Abram went further south to Egypt to live there for a while. When he was about to cross the border into Egypt, he said to his wife, Sarah, You are a beautiful woman. When the Egyptians see you, they will assume that you are my wife, and so they will kill me and let you live. Tell them that you are my sister. Then because of you, they will let me live and treat me well. When he crossed the border into Egypt, the Egyptians did see that his wife was beautiful. Some of the court officials saw her and told the king how beautiful she was. So she was taken to his palace. Because of her, the king treated Abram well and gave him flocks of sheep and goats, cattle, donkeys, slaves and camels. But because the king had taken Sarah, the Lord sent terrible diseases on him and on the people of his palace. When the king sent for Abram and asked him, What have you done to me? Why didn't you tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say that she was your sister and let me take her as my wife? Here is your wife. Take her and get out. The king gave orders to his men, so they took Abram and put him out of the country, together with his wife, and everything he owned. In today's passage, a 75-year-old Abram hears God giving him clear instructions to follow. Abram obeys. The thing that strikes me is the cost of the obedience. He was to leave behind what most people hold dear. His father's home his relatives, and his country. It's clear that for Abraham, his relationship with God came first. We know he loved God, for he trusted him and obeyed him. Now Abraham's call is also our call, the call to place God first in our lives. For me, the hymn, Oh, for a closer walk with God, comes to mind. Its words capture something of that calling. So let's ask God to speak to us right now as we reflect on those words. Let's make them our prayer. Father God, the dearest idol I have known, whate'er that idol be, help me to tear it from thy throne and worship only thee. 
so shall my walk be close with God, calm and serene my frame, so pure a light shall mark the road that leads me to the Lamb. Why not dwell in this passage further, asking God to speak to you through it? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen.